popular bikes. If you're a fan of both cycling and water, then you'll love the next vehicle on our list. You are looking at two amazing water vehicles, developed by specialists from the California-based company Schiller. This vehicle works in a similar way to a standard bicycle. You sit on the bike, start pedaling to move forward, and use the handlebars to steer it. Only in this case, the wheels are replaced by two propellers. However, it's a bit easier to ride Schiller bikes, at least because you don't have to keep the balance on your own since the vehicle's equipped with pontoons. The frame, despite its visible fragility, is strong and can withstand a load of up to 136 kilograms. The bike has a modular design and assembles in under 10 minutes. The top speed is 18 kilometers per hour. Velo Metro. Bicycles are undoubtedly the most convenient eco-friendly vehicles. It's no coincidence that it has so many loyal fans all over the world. There's only one problem though. Usually you can't ride them when it's raining. But Velo Metro is here to solve this problem. It is a three-wheeler bike with a covered cabin, which gives its rider all the advantages of a small car. First of all, it protects the rider from dust, wind and other unexpected weather conditions. And secondly, there's enough space in the cabin to accommodate your personal belongings and some shopping bags. Other advantages are the built-in display to track the route, the heated handles, the comfortable seat and the cup holder. The maximum speed is 32 km per hour. The electric drive is powered by the energy from the solar panel on the roof. Velo Metro will first appear in Canada. There, you won't need a driver's license to use it. And most importantly, Velo Metro will be part of a bike sharing system. Pedal Pub. The last vehicle we want to show you today is perfect for loud parties that don't stop even on the road. As you can guess from the name, this is a pub on wheels that can go literally anywhere. The idea originated about 10 years ago, when the first party bike appeared on the streets of the US city of Minneapolis. People's reaction was incredibly cordial, and the concept grew into a whole franchise. Today, there are over 200 of them, and they bring happiness to people in over 40 cities. Pedal Pub is a popular choice for bachelor and bachelorette parties, birthdays and tourist trips. Despite its open construction, the fun does not stop even in winter. Seats with heated seats, a fireplace and of course the need to collectively pedal help people stay warm. Bio Hybrid this tiny pedal-powered electric vehicle was developed by specialists at the German company Schaeffler Bio Hybrid. This vehicle is environmentally friendly, safe and space-saving. Bio Hybrid takes up to three times less parking space than a standard car. The manufacturer offers two versions, passenger and cargo. The first model can accommodate two people, while the second model has a modular design and can be equipped to meet the owner's needs. For example, it can have an open or covered cargo compartment in the rear. Biohybrid can also be used as a traveling coffee shop or as a refrigeration vehicle. The capacity of the driver's compartment to meet cargo and passenger versions is also different. Apart from that, they look the same. They both have a windscreen, a roof, and are open at the sides. The maximum speed is 25 km per hour. Biohybrid runs on one or two batteries, providing a range of 50 or 100 km respectively. However, if the battery dies, you can still continue your journey by simply pedaling. The models are equipped with GPS, 4G, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology. Biohybrid is scheduled for mass production this year. In most countries, you won't even need a driver's license or special permits to drive it. You can just ride it like a bike. ETA 
If you think that human-powered transport is only suitable for leisurely rides and is not able to reach really high speeds, we're about to prove you wrong, because you're looking at a record holder. A bicycle that reached almost 145 kilometers per hour. However, according to the engineers from AeroVelo, this is not the limit. They will keep on working to set new, even more spectacular records. From the outside, Ita doesn't look like a bike at all. However, it is really a bicycle, and there is a good explanation for its appearance. The bullet shape improves the aerodynamics. The vehicle literally breaks through the airflow with minimum wind resistance. Composite materials make the vehicle lightweight, so that nothing can interfere with acceleration. There's also a smart onboard computer inside. It helps the rider and tells them at which point it's best to exert maximum effort. Cycle QMX If you want something more thrilling, you will love this amazing vehicle, Cycle QMX. Developed by specialists from Florida, it incorporates all the best features of a bicycle and an electric scooter. It's basically a four-wheeler BMX bike with an extra electric drive. Front and rear suspension, coupled with large 20-inch tires, provide impressive cross-country ability and riding comfort. Cycle QMX is capable of riding on sand, snow, grass, and any other type of surface. It can also overcome small obstacles. The manufacturer offers three models. The Urban Econo has a 500-watt brushless motor. It develops speeds from 16 to 24 km per hour. The Urban Sport reaches 24 km per hour as well, but has a more powerful engine of 750 watts and more efficient brakes. And finally, the most remarkable model is the Urban Assault. It boasts a 1000 watt engine. The maximum speed that you can develop is just over 38 km per hour. The bike can move using only the energy of the motor, or you can use the engine to ride faster with less effort. Human-powered helicopter Rising in the air using only the energy produced by your own feet has long been a dream for many people. In 1980, the American Helicopter Society decided to push talented engineers to bring this idea to life. The society offered a huge prize to motivate teams to create a working human-powered helicopter. It had to be a pedal-powered helicopter capable of flying for at least 60 seconds, reaching an altitude of 3 meters. But it soon became clear that it was not an easy task. It took engineers more than 30 years to create a working model. And finally, you can see the results on your screen. You're looking at a human-powered helicopter built by students at the University of Maryland. They have come very close to the goal. The vehicle's incredibly light for its size, too. It weighs only 36 kilos. It consists mainly of carbon fiber tubes, styrofoam, and lots of glue. However, you won't see this vehicle in the air anytime soon, because there's a lot of effort involved, and you have to pedal with both your legs and your hands. Sweep The next invention we'll show you today is an attraction that you can visit in Rotorua in New Zealand. You won't find anything like it anywhere else in the world. Sweeb is a high-speed, human-powered monorail car. The rider generates energy by pedaling, thus powering the pod. You can ride any way you want, of course. Slowly, to enjoy the beautiful views, or as fast as you can, racing with your friends. Sweeb is ideal for people of all ages, and no special physical preparation is required. Hi friends, I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell button and keep supporting us. Thank you.